Hello everyone, I am Nabil Murad. I received a question from one of my clients in a corporate training session saying, I have a data dump copied from another application that shows thousands of records. Each record consists of a last name in column A. Below it I have the first name. I have a region on a third row in column B and an amount in column C in the same row as the first name. Is there a way to get a clean list that shows the full name, the region and amount all in one row for each record so that I can analyze my data by region? To answer this question, I created a setup in columns A, B, C that shows the name, the region and the amount for the first record, I have the last name in row number 6 in column A, and then I have the first name in A7, I have the region in B8, and I have the amount in C7. I can fix this issue by using formulas and functions, but I have a preference to fixing it by using Power Query. Before sending this list into Power Query, I want to show you what happens when we send a list having blanks to Power Query. So I'm going to select the entire list by hitting the shortcut Control asterisk and then I want to select all the blanks so I hit the shortcut F5 and here I click on special to open the go to special dialog box and from here I'll be selecting blanks and then I hit OK. All these cells are blanks and when I send this list to Power Query all the blanks will show null and I'm going to capitalize on that. I also want to talk about the real problem. Fixing the amount where I have one single piece of information in column C, that's not a problem. Fixing the region where I have one single piece of information in column B, that's not a problem. But the real problem is to separate the first name and last name because these are two pieces of information in one single column, column A. So let's see how we do that. To send my list to Power Query, I select any single cell. I can go to the data tab of the ribbon and then click on from table range. Alternatively, I can use the shortcut alt apt. When I do that, the create table dialog box opens. It recognizes my list, but it doesn't recognize that my table has headers. So I check the box, my table has header, and the moment I hit OK, it will fire up the Power Query Editor. In the Power Query Editor, all the blanks are filled with null. I see my list consisting of name, region, and amount. And the first thing I want to do is to change the query name. And I say fixed records. And then I hit enter. It doesn't add a step to the applied steps. I don't need the step change type, so I'm going to remove it. And now I start fixing my data. Let's look at the pattern. I have the last name for the first tracker in row number one. And then I have null, null. And then I have the first name, null, and a number. And then I have in the third row, I have a null, a region, and a null. I'm going to capitalize on that pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is to extract the last name in a separate column, based upon the fact that I have a null for the region and a null for the amount. If I have a null for the region and a null for the amount, both conditions met simultaneously, then I want to get the last name. I can create a conditional column by going to the Add Column tab and click on Conditional Column. And the conditional column accommodates one single condition, but it doesn't accommodate a second condition in an AND position. So if I click on Add Clause, that simply means it's an alternate condition. It's not an AND situation. Then this dialog box doesn't really help me in creating multiple simultaneous conditions and AND situation. So I'm going to close it and I'll be creating a custom column. I click on custom column. I'll be naming the new column, let's say last name. And then for the formula, it's a simple if formula. So I type if the region equals null and then a space and the amount equals null. Then in this case, 
please go ahead and return the name column, otherwise else I want a null. The green check mark in the lower left corner denotes that I don't have errors. I hit OK and here is the new column. Now let's start fixing all the records. I select the region and I want to fill the region for the same record with the same region that I have in row number 3. So I select the region column and then I go to the transform tab of the ribbon and here I click on the down arrow of the fill command and I want to fill up. I do the same for the last name but it's the opposite direction. I want to fill the entire record with the last name extracted in the custom column. So I select the last name, I can right click and I have the fill command in the right click menu and this time I want to fill down. And now I want to filter the amount column. So I click on the down arrow for the amount column and I want to get rid of the null. When I hit OK, now I have on one single row the first name, the region, the amount and the last name. We need to combine the names. So I select the name which is actually the first name. I press Ctrl and click on the last name. I want to merge these two together into a new column. So on the Transform tab, I click on Merge Columns. And here I want to give a name to my new column. That's the full name. And I want to separate the two columns with a space. So I select a space as a separator. When I hit OK, I would have merged the two columns. So I have a full name, a region, and the amount. I want to move the full name to beginning. I can simply drag it or I can right click and select move to beginning. Now I have the correct order. I want to look at the data type, full name that's text, region that should be text. I click on the little icon to the left side of the field name and I select text. And for the amount, I'm going to change it to currency and I'm done. I want to send it back to Excel. So I click on the home tab. I click on the down arrow for close and load, select close and load to, and here I have to select a destination. I want to send it to the existing worksheet, and I want to send it, let's say, to cell E5. When I hit OK, I'm getting a normalized table. I'm going to close the queries and connections pane. And before analyzing by data by region, I want to format the amount as currency. So I select the amount column by hovering over the amount label and I click. It selects the entire column. I can fix it as currency in so many ways. I have a preference to using the shortcut control shift 4 and then I can decrease the number of decimal places. I don't want any decimals and now I can create a total row and to do that I click on the table design tab and on the table design tab I can check the box for total or I can use the shortcut control shift T. I can select the total row by hovering over the label total and I see the black right pointing arrow and I click it selects the entire total I'm going to cut it control X I want to jump to the top so I hit control home and here in row number three in cell E3, I'm going to paste the total row control V. I can change the label total. I can say sum of sales by region. And now I want to create a slicer. You can go to the table design tab and click on insert slicer. A slicer is a graphic interactive filter. I'm going to insert the slicer by using the shortcut Alt and SF. I want to create a slicer for the region, so I select region and then I hit OK. I want to improve the appearance of my slicer, so I right click and say slicer settings. In the slicer settings dialog box, I don't want to display header, so I take the check away from display header and then I hit OK. I can spread the options on multiple columns by clicking on the up pointing arrow for the columns and make it four columns. Now I can position my slicer on top of my table, expand the slicer, resize it, and finally apply a style. So I click on the more button for styles and I select a matching style. So if I click on the slicer, and I want to see the sum of sales for the north region. Here is the sum of sales for the north. I want to select north and south. I just click and drag. If I want to release my slicer, I click and drag to select all the regions. We went from a total data dump. 
to a clean normalized table and we are able to analyze our data and we solve the problem.